Great. So today we're going to talk about the types of people that come together. Now, hedge funds bring three groups of people together. This includes investors, fund managers, and financial intermediaries. We're going to start off with investors. The hedge fund client base is generally split into two groups, individual versus institutional investors. And this is the hedge fund client base. Generally, high net worth individuals such as um, you know, your CEOs, presidents, members of the UA, you know, just think somebody who's rich, someone who's got really a lot of money. And then the other ones are the institutions. Now, institutions generally have more money, and hedge funds look after or look for those tax exempt institutions. They are the kings. This includes pension funds, endowments, and foundations. Endowments and foundations are far more aggressive investors in terms of what kind of hedge fund strategies they're willing to take on. One kind of key role player within the hedge fund industry is the US University. They're a big spend on hedge funds. The next type of investor we're going to look at is the non-US investors. Typically, they invest offshore in tax haven territories such as the Bermuda and Cayman Islands. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the different tax havens in this slide, but we'll cover that later. Now, these types of hedge funds may only accept money from non-US persons and they'll typically target U.S. tax-exempt institutions or non-U.S. citizens. Now, the reason U.S. taxpayers are locked out is because hedge funds don't provide them with enough details that they need to pay tax. Obviously, now I'm talking about offshore investments. The last type of investor we're going to look at is funds and funds. Now, funds and funds will invest in hedge funds for three different types of reasons. Number one, diversification. They want to spread their clients' assets over multiple hedge fund strategies. So for example, strategy one doesn't work, the profits from strategy two will offset the losses from strategy one. The second reason is it's cheaper for individuals to invest through a funds of funds than directly in hedge funds. And the third reason why funds of funds invest in hedge funds is because they get to add their own performance fee. And by doing this, they make a profit, the hedge fund makes a profit, and at the end of the day, the client's happy. So who actually manages a hedge fund? Hedge funds are managed by many managers. They are experts in the field. They come in all different shapes and sizes and trade all sorts of different financial instruments. These financial instruments range from stocks, bonds, foreign exchange, credit default swaps, options, binary options. They can even be the physical projects such as coal, gold, oil, energy, you name it. Now, hedge funds can have both separate accounts for their clients or commingled accounts. Genuinely, Generally, hedge funds and mutual funds will have coming accounts. Now, the money manager's job is to exercise trading authority over the account. Now, I just want to touch on the definition of a co-mingled account. A mutual fund in which money from several customers is pooled together to reduce risk and cost. Any fund investing a large amount of money is subject to lower percentage of brokerage fees, and large accounts usually have smaller administrative costs than individual accounts. They also benefit from economies of scale, mitigating risk. However, capital gains in a commingled fund are distributed equally among investors, usually resulting in a small return. Next, we'll discuss the different types of money managers slash hedge fund managers. First, there could be focused or specialized hedge funds, meaning they specialize in one type of product. Second, they could have several trading strategies, also known as a multi-strategy fund. Third, money managers offering traditional or hedge fund strategies. This means that they offer really, you know, a bland vanilla hedge fund strategy, it could even be a mutual fund strategy. And last but not least, they could offer many different financial services such as family offices. Thanks for watching this tutorial video. And if you're looking for any more information, you can visit us at Hedge Fund South Africa. The URL is www.hedgefund-sa.co.za. Look forward to seeing you there. Good day.